Hey y'all, welcome back to Ladija's Creation. And if you're not subscribed, tell me what you're waiting on. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button and that bell so that you can be notified when I upload more DIYs and how-tos and everything else that I do on my channel. But lubbies, go ahead and grab your snacks and pull up your chair so that you can see how this was made. Go ahead. Go ahead and make sure while you're doing that, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the bell. Hey y'all, I'm going to take a stab at trying to make a wine glass rack. And if you all would love to see how it turns out, stay tuned. I'm going to be using every last one of these items that I have in front of me. And I'm going to be using eight one by twos at 10 and a half inches, one one by three at 11 and a half inches. I'm also going to be using a square plywood board that measures 11 and a half inches by 11 and 6 16 inches. Of course, I cannot forget to mention that I'm going to be using screws and a paintbrush. And I have my paintbrush right here. And I'm also going to be using my good old Ryobi drill. Ryobi, holler at your girl. I'm still waiting on your phone call. And I also use my tape measurer to measure my wood. As you all can see right here, I've already mapped everything out as to where I'm going to be placing my board. My one by two boards are going to go right here. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But the one by three board is going to go across here. And I'm going to get started with my one by two board by placing it on the board right there on the end. And I'm going to make sure that my one by two board comes all the way down to this end right here. I'm going to flip this over and screw those in. And I'm just going to be using small little screws. You don't have to have the very long ones for this. And I'm just going to continue to do that for the other three. Okay, once you get your first one by two on, you want to turn this over and go ahead and check your spacing for your glass. You want to make sure that your wine glass is going to be able to slide up and down this area freely. Okay, so Take note that this board on the end is in an L shape. This one down here will be in the L shape too. But the second and the third row is going to be in a T shape. So I'm going to take and make sure that it's in the form of a T and not too much to the left or to the right. And then I'm going to take and screw it in just like I did these. I'm trying to make sure you all see this, but I am not left-handed. My screw fell off. I am not left-handed. But I am trying to let you guys see exactly what I'm doing. So let's do a check before I screw it all the way in. You want to make sure it slides up and down. And you also want to make sure that when it's turned upside down, the glass is not going to fall out. So take note. So take note that the L shape is going to be on this end and on this end as well. And both of the T shapes will be in the center. 
Okay, so now that you've gotten all your wood on attached, you want to check and make sure that your glass will slide all the way in and out, okay? Then you're going to take your one by three board and place it back here on the back and then attach it to each of those pieces midways on the back side. Child, that wood don't want to be screwed. It's like, stop. I don't blame it. I don't blame it. I don't blame it. Okay, so now I'm just going to place three glasses in here. That's a little tight right there down at the bottom. This will be swinging. But this is my wine glass rack. Or you can take and hang it on your ceiling, depending on how high it is over your, like your little bar area, your bar counter. Y'all should know what one of my favorite colors is by now gray for my household. I shouldn't even be painting the bottom. You know what? I'm not going to paint that because it's going to be hung up. I should have painted the boards before I actually attached them. I think I'm going to have to take this back of loose because I don't believe my paintbrush is going to get down in between these one by twos. Because it's a little tight to get up in there. And I knew that. I told myself that last night. <laughs> I surely did. But this is a quick and easy DIY. I think anyone can really do this. And, you know, if you'd like got a wine glass, you know, you just want to be a little sexy and a little, and a little, you know, um, just flirty. Have fun. you don't necessarily have to drink. I'm a very occasional, 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 it's so occasional that uh, I might as well say I don't drink. Anybody want to say, oh, you're a Christian, baby. Jesus provided wine for the wedding, okay? Stop being a stick in the mud. It is not a sin to drink as long as you are not drinking in excess. And when you begin to, that's when it becomes a problem. That's when sin begins to creep in. And you do it in excess. This is what it's looking like so far, and I will bring it back to you guys when I am done. I got paint everywhere. Everywhere on my hands. I need to go and wash it off. Love ease. Doesn't this look amazing? I hope that this is a DIY that you all would love to try and add it to your repertoire.
But lovies, it's time to go. I love you guys and I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. And come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21.